Chloe Burdett here with Blake Mellinger. Coach, you secured a hefty win against non-conference Virginia University of Lynchburg on Saturday. In the first half, they kind of hung around you guys a little bit, but in the second half, you guys exploded off the jump, uh, made 20 out of 22 free throws, 49 bench points. So just kind of talk about how your squad played against them on Saturday. Yeah, I thought we played really well in the second half. And um, it was really good for us to get some of those guys some minutes that maybe hadn't been playing quite as much. Uh, I think we're going to need to use our, our bench and our depth a little more here in the second half of the season. Um, we're a little thinner, particularly in the front court right now. So um, we're going to have to play maybe smaller at times. So I think, um, you know, guys like uh, Curve and – you know, some of those other guys are gonna are, are gonna play a bigger role as we go throughout the second half of the season. So we're focusing back on conference play here for the next few weeks, starting off with Mars Hill uh, tomorrow at their place. Mars Hill's still winless in conference as of right now. Um, they have a few guys such as Corey Davis. They lead their team in points per game, fourteen point nine. Um, that serve as their standout. But as a team, they're last in the conference in points per game with sixty six point six. They also sit in 12th place in turnovers per game with 15.3. Um, so headed there tomorrow, what do you think about this matchup? And where do you think you guys can kind of take advantage? Yeah, I mean, I think um, when they play a lot better at home, they've played a lot better at home than they have on the road. So, uh, you know, I don't think it's going to be anything other than a, another, like, tough conference game. I think we'll have to be ready to play. Um, they're real aggressive on both ends of the floor. They really try to attack you, particularly off the dribble. Uh, on the offensive end and then uh, they'll mix defenses, but they really try to get up and pressure you um, both in the full court and the half court. So we'll have to do a really good job of one, taking care of the basketball, which is something that we've done really well here as of late. And then two, um, you know, executing uh, our stuff on the offense. end. So you talked a little about Kerbins. You sent a little bit, kind of talk about how he's kind of sprouted the past few uh, weeks, kind of just serving as, you know, kind of that, that player that you weren't expecting to kind of jump out and kind of help out the team, but he definitely has the past few, few games. So talk about him a little bit. Yeah. I mean, we've always known he could, he's capable of doing that. Even, you know, if you look back to the last, uh, I forget how many six or eight games of the season last year, he gave us good minutes. Um, and you know, kind of the same thing now he's a good energy guy, gives us good energy off the bench. He can, um, he's another guy that can come in and score the ball. So it gives us some, um, some offense off the bench, which has been something we've struggled with at times, the guys uh, producing offensively, particularly from, uh, from that bench area. So, yeah, he's just – he's gotten better. He's picked up on things. He's he's kind of stayed the course. You know, he came in, I forget, three or four weeks ago when he wasn't playing quite as much. And, you know, he said, Coach, you know, whenever my number's called, I'm going to be ready. And, uh, you know, he's done that. So, you know, I look for that to continue here throughout the rest of the season. And lastly, uh, first time he's really gotten minutes, Brad Halverson. I wanted to talk about him a little bit, uh, you know, transfer from Western Carolina, but kind of a local kid at heart from Kingsport. So kind of talk about him a little bit, how maybe later in the year he might be able to be ut utilizable. Yeah, I mean, it's it's really hard to say. You know, he, he missed pretty much the entire first semester with a foot, a broken foot, a foot injury. So uh, he's, you know, he's trying to get back in the swing of things in terms of practice. It was good to get him out there in, in some game minutes um, there on Saturday. And I do, I, I think he can help us. I think, you know, for us, it's just trying to figure out what his role is going to be and how we can incorporate him at this point in the season. Um, you know, we've had a pretty steady rotation here throughout the uh, the first half. So I think it's really just, you know, how do we utilize him? How does he fit uh, in the rotation? And then how quickly does he kind of get back to speed after being off so long? Awesome. Thanks, Coach. UVA Wise heads to Mars Hill, North Carolina, to face the Mountain Lions for a 7.30 p.m. tip-off tomorrow, January 11th. For full details on in-game action, please visit uvawisecavs.com. Thanks again, Blake. All right. Thanks, Chloe.